Okay, this is hopefully a better look at the Avan Cruise Liner Adventure Plus. Okay, we've done some modifications to it already. Um, besides, we've we ordered it with modifications as well. But videos I found didn't give me enough in depth on the van itself. So I'll try and cover a few things that I wanted to know while we look at the inside. Okay, so um, it's a double bed. Um, this one's inner spring mattress, which comes standard in the cruise liner, I Aventured Plus. Um, the modifications we done was the fridge and uh, a different battery management system because I want this set up for off-grid camping. Under the bed, which is on hydraulic shocks, you can lift it with one hand, not a problem. That's the other um, accessory we put on, or one of, is a barbecue. Uh, the door had to be made bigger to allow the barbecue to be fitted in and it's on a slide uh, standard with air conditioning and heating which is ducted throughout these vents there's only three but it does drop the temperature in the van enough um, batteries located up the back it was a 105 amp hour battery it's now i've upgraded it to 140 and I've also put in a second battery. That's what the wire there is. Um, gas electric hot water system, um, which is standard. Uh, there's your water pump in the back. Uh, the hoses that feed uh, for your water tank. There's two water tanks under these are standard. 165 liters, I think it is. So there's two of them. So you're about 120 liters all up. Uh, that's your power cord for when you're running or charging the battery or running the air conditioning will only run off 240 volts and your electric hot water system will only run off 240 volts um, so you've got a storage compartment or storage door there so you can access all of this to access in any of the side compartments you will have to lift the bed and uh, here the hoses are well kept away, which I found Jayco didn't quite do. Um, these are all situated at the back of the cupboard. Uh, of course, got the wheel arch in there, limited space in there, but there was a microwave. We didn't want the microwave because I wasn't going to use it. Um, two drawers on this side, fairly deep. Um, they've got a soft close mechanism plus a lock on them. Same thing there. Fold down cupboard on this one where your wheel arch is. Small pocket on entry, radio standard uh, to CD player, Bluetooth. Door on this side, which accesses that side hatch at the front, right? Which is fairly long, that actually goes all the way to the front of the van. You can access them through the lounge if you need to. Most of the standard stuff you know by researching, you can unhook the table off the sail track style thing on the side. Remove the pole and then the table sits on this ledge in here. You rearrange cushions and you've got an extra bed. Uh, there's your mains. Um, trip meter so if you wanted to you could circuit break that turns everything off that's running on 240 volts um, two burner stove top decent sized sink hot and cold water and uh, windows so you got one here that open small one in the corner 
Large one there, and not one there. And you can open the door, lift the door up. Glass there to allow airflow. Blinds are held on by Velcro sticky dots. Uh, vent up the roof on either side. It's simply a wind out mechanism on here. Vent there. Uh, fire alarm. Uh, the curtains run on these tracks and when you get them to the center they've actually got to push into these and it locks them closed. Uh, storage compartments at the front of the van so that's about the seat level um, because you've got a storage bin under this side as well same as the other side you can access through there. only go to that level this one however goes down to the floor where you can access these ones um, I think that was pretty much it inside here I'll go through details of my modifications when I start doing them Anything else to set up with a van, you can find it on other videos and so forth. Um, another thing, sorry, I almost had to have to mention your lights. Let's use LEDs in there, it doesn't get hot. This one, however, runs on the old style globe, um, which does get hot. Left on for at least five minutes will be very hot. If you've got two of them, you've got a strip light up the top. This is all standard. I wasn't aware of some of the, like the strip light being standard feature. Um, then you've got, that's with this switch. The switch is outside, handle, door light handle, and that one as well. 